Dearly beloved, our action point today is that you should pray that God should connect you to the right hand man he has prepared for you. And also, thank God specially for adding another year to our daddy in the Lord, Daddy E. A. Adeboye. Thank God for adding another year to his years today. And pray that God should connect you to the right hand man he has prepared for you. That right hand man is your destiny helper. He's your benefactor prepared from heaven. Ask God to connect you to the person. It may be a man, it may be a woman. But ask God to connect you. Pray. In Jesus' name, let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, our topic is your right hand man, part one. Your right hand man, part one. Our passage will be taken from the book of Exodus chapter 4, 10 to 16. Please read it on your own, but just follow the discussion. Then our memory verse will be Exodus 17 verse 12. We take it. But Moses' hands were heavy and they took a stone and put it underneath him. And he sat thereon and Aaron and who stayed up his hands, the one on the other side and the other one on one side. Hmm? And his hands we are stayed until the going down of the sun. I'm sure you all are familiar with this story. They supported him. That's what is called teamwork. They supported him. They were here for him. They did everything possible to make sure that they defeat that the victory is theirs. Whatever it takes, it takes togetherness. Say the more the merrier. Teamwork. Helping each other to achieve one purpose. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So for everyone who becomes great, there is always at least one person God provides to be his or her right hand man. For instance, our Bible passage in Exodus chapter 4, 10 to 16, when Moses told God that he could not go to Egypt because he couldn't speak well, God appointed Aaron to assist him. In Exodus 17, 18 to 13, when the Amalekites came to attack Israel, we also saw what happened. Moses went to the mountain top with Aaron and Hill and told Joshua to lead the army in the valley. And what happened? Say Moses lifted up his hands. He lifted up his hands and Aaron and Hill we are able to assist one from, they put a rock under him to steady his hand. One was helping from one side while the other one was helping from the other side, that is left and right hand side. And his hand stayed there while the fight was going on. So as the hand continued to be up, they were leading, they were defeating. So all these people were right-hand men to Moses. They assisted, they supported their leader to make sure that the victory becomes theirs. 
We also find another example in Genesis chapter 24. Abraham called his lead servants and asked him to get a wife for his son. His son Isaac needed a wife and he wants that wife to be from among his people. That led the servant of Abraham to become his right hand man because he trusted him. In this case, also we should note that the term is genderless, as a woman can also be a right hand man to another woman. The right hand man is someone who is close enough to his or her leader to know exactly what to do and for the leader to trust the person in times of needs at every moment and also for that person to be proactive in providing it you know if somebody is is lazy and nonchalant he cannot be picked as the right hand man of the leader you should also identify your right hand man if you haven't. Your right hand man can say what you cannot say yourself or might have a way of presenting the matter that will effectively pass your intended message. He or she can be the lifter of your hands. Also, such a person is the one who can provide you with something to sit upon when you are tired. Someone who can make you comfortable even at his or her own discomfort, at his or her own expense. Like Joshua, he or she is the one who can fight your battles even when you are not there. Your real right hand man is one who, despite your closeness, will not take you for granted because of familiarity. Mm. Your right hand man is the one who will see your weaknesses and not use them against you or go around telling others about them. He or she will rather cover them as Aaron and he did for Moses. Your right hand man is one to whom you can entrust things and be sure that they will do it as you want it done. Note that God may have you serve as a right hand man to someone as well. A right hand man is a trustworthy person. A person that you can go asleep and rest and say that so far this person is there. So far this person is in charge. I don't have a problem. As we have prayed earlier, Father, please provide me, provide every listener of this video with a right hand man. My Lord and my God, especially at the time that we need it, provide us with a right hand man, a true right hand man, a real right hand man that will be there when needed, that will take care of the things and do it even the way, even better than you would have done it. Provide us with a right hand man who does not have a flippant tongue, who can keep your secret. Who will not scandalize you in the public? Father Lord, but adventure, we have such a person who is inside of us, but who is enviously carrying our names up and down. Father Lord, may you end the relationship 
we have with such fake right hand man in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting King of glory. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our hymn today is hymn 10, In Christ Alone. In Christ alone. Father Lord, may you help us. That's in you alone. We will actually put all our trust in Christ alone. My hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. Let us sing it. Lord alone can be your strength. Can be your cornerstone. The solid ground, the solid rock, your light, your strength, that is Christ for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I sincerely want to appreciate all my returning subscribers. I appreciate you a great deal. May God bless you. To those coming to my channels for the first time, I appreciate you. I sincerely appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But please do subscribe to my channel if you have not. Feel free to share with friends and families, colleagues, neighbors, as many people as possible. Share the video to them. They will learn one thing or the other. It may just be a thing that will assist them in the area of their need presently. If you like this video, Give me a thumbs up, which is a like. Please go and hit that button with a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and the good Lord will surely bless you. But most importantly, do have a great day.